Check this out. Back in 2019, we had multiple extreme typhoons. And in fact, six storms were retired then. But just recently, uh, via the World Meteorological Agency, along with the Typhoon Committee, we do have new names which have been announced here. U2 is now going to be called Yingjing. Kamori is Koto from Japan. Faxai is Nongfo from Laos. Fanfon is Nokian. Hagibis is Ragasa from the Philippines. And Lakima will now be called Kome in Vietnam. So those are the six names that were retired, by the way, tied with the most retired names in one typhoon season. So I just want to start off with that. A little interesting tidbit. All right, let's talk about our tropical outlook here in late February in 2021. Nothing out there. Yeah, we got a couple showers maybe around Palau, but the Philippines, you're high and dry at this time. Passing storms really trying to Form up the rainy season front in southeastern China, I do believe. we got a stationary front there. A little cold front passing back towards the east. But overall, the Westpac High is dominating here towards the north and east of Guam. All right, let's talk about our extended forecast, though. And this is the GFS through mid-March. All right, keep in mind, this is the whole 380 hours out i'm showing you here overall the easterly staying pretty quiet but you might have noticed there near the end of the loop as we loop ahead this is about 350 hours 380 hours out yeah it does spin something out when we're talking about long range gfs forecast anything over 300 hours my goodness you have to you must take it with a grain of salt now if you do a back to back to back runs from the gfs the ecmwf the cmc all the guidance then maybe we could kind of look at it, but ECMWF is, this isn't registering on the radar at all. So I only point it out because otherwise, through the next two weeks, there's nothing going on here in the tropics. It is hot. In fact, in Manila, hit 34 degrees, thanks to all that sunshine, first time this year. So almost feels like summer out there, right? Monsoons just continuing, the northeast monsoon remaining in place. Dry air coming in off of the east release. According to the Climate Prediction Center, below average rainfalls. We go ahead through the start of March and maybe a little above average, but overall they don't have anything developing as far as the tropics are concerned through mid March. So here's the main points. Expect the heat. That's the key thing. If you're anywhere in the tropics, it's going to be warm out there. Even in Japan, been looking at above average temperatures thanks to some of that flow coming in, a vection coming up uh, from the tropics. La Nina remains in place, so it means above average sea surface temperatures out there and nothing tropical expected at this time. Speaking of La Nina, La Nina advisory is still in place. Uh, it is in present. This is latest data from the Climate Prediction Center out there in the United States. Equatorial sea surface temperatures are below average across the western eastern Pacific, but guess what? In the western Pacific, it is above average. So there's above 60% chance of a transition from La Nina to an Ensel during April through June. But the La Nina and above that sea surface temperatures will remain in place through spring. And we really have to get out of this deficit. This is actually showing you the anomalies across the uh, Pacific Ocean as far as the temperatures and as well below average here. So we have to trend out of this, but for now... Things are remaining warm. This is the eastern Pacific, below average sea surface temperatures, above average back towards the west. What does this mean? Well, there's a lot of factors. I got videos on this that I really broke down the whole thing. But here's the big one if we're talking about the tropics. It is more fuel for systems if they develop out here. That's the key thing. We just saw that with our last storm. All Ring, internationally known as Dujuan, uh, it had the temperatures. It had the moisture. The wind shear, because it's still February and winter is still present, destroyed it. But the sea surface temperatures were there, which in February, my goodness, right? Well, they're still going to be there. It's still going to have warm sea surface temperatures. Hey, by the way, have I mentioned this in a bit? But thank you very much for everybody very much has been helping me out on patreon i'll put a link down below if you want to help out you can also check out westernpacificweather.com there's a way to help out there too but my goodness is so I, I can't stress i really want the money to invest in some fantastic graphics i'm not even near the, the money i need at this time but i am using your investments to put back into these video updates angela just put in uh ten dollars a month 
thank you very much. Part of the Super Typhoon group. I truly appreciate it, Angela. So I just wanted to mention that, throw your name out there. And everybody else has been helping out over the past month and a half since I started that. So, you know, check that out if you want to. Please subscribe as well if you don't want to donate money. I understand and I make these updates for people that may not have money, may be suffering from tropical systems. So I get it. So don't feel obligated at all. But if you do have extra and you like these updates, it is appreciated. Let's let's just say that. It, you don't even know at this point uh, how much it is appreciated. Um, please stop by westernpacificweather.com. I've neglected that website recently, but I'm trying to get it back online. I'm trying to get the features back open, and that's not free to operate either. My goal is to get that open and make it a, a successful site again. About 10 years ago, my goodness, this thing was running. We had all the features, all the bells and whistles, so I've neglected it lately. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm trying to post some stuff there. Uh, why not? You know, that's where everybody's kind of migrating away from Facebook. There's still a lot of people there. You know, in Southeast Asia, Facebook's still a big thing, but in the United States, it's kind of, eh, you know. All right. Um, anyways, I'm trying to diversify. How about that? Wow. The last five minutes of this video, it feels like I have not talked about weather, so I'm going to wrap this up. If you're still watching, you're those people that really, we, we try to have a conversation, and I'll talk to you in the comments section. Um, thanks for watching, though, and as always, stay safe out.